It's 6.30 Monday morning and I just woke up to the most freaking bloated, puffy belly ever. Like my rings don't even fit. It's just that crampy, uncomfortable feeling. And I know exactly what did it over the weekend. This used to happen to me all the time. Like my underwear don't even feel comfortable right now. But I'm not gonna let it get me down. Like I know what to do to make it go away really fast. So I wanna show you guys what I'm eating throughout the entire day to help me de-bloat like overnight basically because it used to linger around for a few days. So if you deal with bloating, especially after a fun weekend, this one's for you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, I'm so happy you're here. Today I wanted to take you through a full day of eating and show you exactly what I do when I need to de-bloat fast. Waking up the way I did today, feeling that bloated, puffy cramping is so uncomfortable. And that used to happen to me all the time. Like I would have days I would wake up feeling like I gained 15 pounds overnight. And of course a little bit of bloating is normal, but that level is definitely not. I always notice the worst bloating after a big weekend out, like eating and drinking, but I sometimes felt it even when I was eating healthier foods. And when I became a certified sports nutritionist, I realized there are definitely foods that you wouldn't expect that can cause bloating, and ones that if you add into your day will help reduce the bloating super quickly. So now there's a really specific way I eat to help take me from this to this, like overnight, that really works. I know I'm not the only one that deals with this insane level of bloating. So if you're feeling a little puffy or if you've dealt with this too, drop a comment with a little puffer fish emoji down below. I know that it sometimes can feel like you're the only one, but I promise you are not. So if you're tired of dealing with the belly bloat that lingers for days, sweat the thumbs up. That just means give it a little click. And if you're new to my channel, it means so much to me if you subscribed. I have new videos every single week sharing my health and fitness journey to help you with yours. All right, so let's get into it. I'm gonna show you the foods I'm eating to de-blow overnight and share how I'm feeling throughout the day so you can understand how it's helping. I know for me, waking up this way can feel kind of embarrassing, so I love a compression kind of high waist to just make me feel a little bit more confident. But honestly, one in seven women deal with bloating at least once a week, so it is totally normal. But that level of pain and discomfort also sometimes would make me feel guilty about the choices I was making. So I really have tried to like let go of that guilt and just really focus on feeling better as quickly as possible. So one of the first things I always do is drink celery juice like a full glass if you can make it fresh that's the best but this is just pure celery juice and it's still really really good quality and makes me feel so good every time I drink it it just really helps get your digestive system working and kind of flush out any toxins and then I do my little LSF tonic this starts with a fresh lemon because lemon is loaded with amazing vitamins and minerals that can also really help your digestive system and when you're bloated that is the key so i heat up some water and then i'll take about a scoop of my lsf wing woman and about a tablespoon of raw apple cider vinegar and mix those together apple cider vinegar is like i swear it's like the cure-all but it's really incredible for helping again your digestive system get going you kind of feel everything moving and having a warm drink first thing in the morning is also super important to help that deep bloating process start so i do my celery juice first because i just feel like i like that order and then the warm drink really starts getting everything working before I jump into the rest of my day. And usually while I'm drinking that, I do some wind removing stretches. These are ones that you'll do in yoga a lot, but bringing the knees up toward the chest can also help with your ascending and descending colons and get them massaged a little bit so any trapped gas can start to get out of the body. And it kind of feels like after you're so bloated, the last thing you want to do is eat, but it's really important to be eating foods. It's just about eating the right ones to help reduce that bloating. So I do a smoothie because to me having something a little bit lighter feels the best and loading it up with fruits and veggies that are going to help specifically get rid of bloating is amazing. So if you have my seven day slim down meal plan or the shape up, you know, like papaya is one of the best things you can do because it has an enzyme that really helps reduce that bloating. So you can have a pie before you have a meal that you know might bloat you a little bit and it can be helpful. But in a case like this, when you like wake up and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so bloated, go to papaya first thing in the morning. Pineapple also is really incredible for digestion. And then just this pure coconut yogurt is gonna help because it has probiotics. And I'm taking my natural beauty and adding it to the smoothie as well. 
This is my skincare supplement. It's really good for helping like reduce breakouts and create glowing skin. It has marine collagen. Like it's just loaded with good stuff, but it also has a pretext prebiotic, which is incredible for your gut and will help with bloating. And then I do a little chia pudding. I would not just recommend putting straight chia seeds in because those can actually expand and make you more bloated. So make a pudding the night before and then use about a tablespoon or two and add that into your smoothie. It'll make it nice and thick, but also you'll get the benefit of the fiber in the chia helping pull out excess water from the body too. And this smoothie is so yummy because it just tastes like a like tropical fruit drink a smoothie, I guess, but it kind of feels like vacation vibes and is so perfect for summer and just what you need after kind of a night or weekend of being a little bit extra. I refuse to put on real clothes when I'm super bloated. It's just uncomfortable. So I always go for a high waist, like the shorts I had on earlier or these leggings. They're just comfy. I don't have to fidget with them. They're nice and high waisted. I like these cause they have the V as well. So it's instantly slimming and then they kind of give the illusion and hide that puffy poofiness so I can feel more confident while I'm actually working through it. So these and the shorts actually are both Halara and I have a link for you guys I'll put down below if you wanna check them out, but you just need the right fit when you're feeling icky. Honestly, after having the celery juice and that elixir, I already started to feel so much better. I think just the combination and that like warm liquid at the end just starts to loosen the muscle so that cramping kind of went away from the bloating. And now I got ready, I'm drinking my smoothie and I honestly am having a hard time finishing it. It's so good, but it was a lot of smoothie and it's just making me feel really full. The goal of it is to help get things moving and move through me though. So I'm gonna go make my coffee next. I think once I have that, it'll really help. Quick belly check. So I just wanna see if it's any less bloated. I know I've only had a couple of drinks, but I feel like it definitely looks a little bit less bloated down here. It's still bloated, but I think we're already making a little progress. Next I'll do my coffee, but I do something very different with it when I'm feeling really bloated. I always do half calf just because I've tried to reduce the caffeine and doing it later in the morning will help lower cortisol levels, which is great in general. But when I'm dealing with this level of bloating, I always add some dandelion root powder because it's a natural diuretic. So basically it's going to help pull excess water out of the body to help you de-bloat. It seems like a lot of liquids in the morning, obviously, but the more water and hydration you can have, the better to pull out any excess water because water retention is another huge part of why I feel so bloated. If you have salty foods or processed foods, you're going to be retaining more water. So that dandelion root powder really helps get rid of any of the excess water as you're bringing in fresh hydration to help continue to push it out. And I do that with a little bit of coconut powder. So I just put this in my water as well. It has those electrolytes. So all of these things are working together. This is totally TMI, but I'm only like not even halfway done with my coffee. And I already went to the bathroom for the second time today. So like, I know it's a lot of liquids. And at first you kind of feel like, oh my gosh, I'm drinking so much. And my belly's feeling even more full because of everything I'm drinking. But it's working. Like it's really starting to get things flushed out. And for lunch, I'm very particular about the foods that I'm eating because again, I want to keep it light, but also make sure I'm getting enough nutrition. So instead of doing like a brown rice, which I would typically do for one of my bowls as the base, I'm going to do sweet potato because it's high in fiber. Again, that'll help improve digestion. And then I'm using asparagus, which is also a natural diuretic. So a really good veggie that has high water and is going to help pull out any of that excess water. And then instead of doing like an afternoon coffee or something, I like to do my pep rally energy boost because it has green tea and matcha and both green tea and matcha again are going to be really great for digestion and it pairs really well with this lunch so that they can work together to get everything moving. And just like normal, the key for me is always having a healthy fat, healthy carb and healthy protein in my meals. I just finished my lunch. I'm just sipping my little coconut water still. I love that lunch so much. It was just such a nice light way to get in healthy carbs and sweet potato can really also help get things moving without making you feel bloated. So I feel like if you have like a grain like rice or something, I always just end up feeling puffier. So trying to keep it like more of those vegetable carbs and the asparagus is gonna help pull all that water to continue flushing your body out. And the key really has been not adding salt to any of my cooking. So when I make like that lunch today, there was no salt added and that's gonna help reduce the bloating a lot too. I totally know when you're feeling bloated and stuff like this, your mind thinks like, oh, I should just not eat, but that's completely the opposite of what needs to happen. Like you need to be eating to help 
get everything moving through your body to reduce that bloating. Otherwise, you're just gonna sit in that discomfort. For my afternoon snack, I typically have Greek yogurt, but when I'm bloated like this, I try to avoid dairy just because for me, it tends to be one of those kind of trigger foods that can cause bloating. So I'm just doing my coconut yogurt. It's plain, unsweetened. I don't want extra processed sugars or anything like that. Some blueberries, a little cashew butter for a good healthy fat, and then just some coconut on top. This to me is just like a really nice light snack, but it's also making sure that I'm still getting that fuel without eating anything that's gonna cause me to become more bloated, which you definitely don't want. That was the perfect little snack. I think that's one of the biggest things when I'm really bloated is focusing on my portions and the right foods, because it makes a huge difference getting enough without overdoing it. That was just like light and refreshing. Now I'm gonna take a quick walk to keep it all moving. Everything I've been eating throughout the day has been helping me feel less and less bloated, but what I eat at the end of the day and what I do right before bed are truly the biggest game changers and the most important for how I wake up feeling the next day. So I'm making my LSF detox soup. I make this a ton of different ways. The recipes are in my meal plans, but tonight I'm using veggies like squash and zucchini because those ones have a lot of water and again, are gonna help pull out that water and help with bloating. So I put those in with bone broth, which is super nourishing, adding some chicken I'm gonna shred up. I wanna make sure that I'm still getting plenty of protein. So I'm getting that with the broth and the chicken breast for sure. I put that on just for about 15 minutes and then I'll shred up all the chicken. So that helps it feel even heartier. Normally I put kale in this, but kale can be very bloating. So again, we're avoiding any fruits or vegetables that cause bloating and sticking to the ones that will reduce it. And then I add in an egg and whisk it up really quickly. This not only adds a little more protein, but it also adds a little bit of thickness to the soup. And you can see how like the color changes. And this is just such a yummy, nourishing meal. I absolutely love it. I always stop eating at least two hours before I go to bed. And either after dinner or a little bit before bed, I drink two more drinks that are game changers and like truly help me wake up feeling incredible and so much less bloated. So one of them is psyllium husk and water. You have to be really careful though. If you have too much psyllium husk and you're not used to taking it, it actually can cause bloating. But if you have just a teaspoon in the water, it does a magic trick and actually like flushes your body out. So I do that and I follow it up with a little like water and ACV and lemon. That warm drink again helps push it through the body get everything moving so that I can wake up, go to the bathroom and feel incredible. I was feeling super good and light after having that soup for dinner. And then the psyllium husk and water did make me feel like a little bit puffy again for a minute. But as soon as I had the warm water with apple cider vinegar, I feel like it just went away instantly. And that for me is like the sign of how I'm gonna feel in the morning. So I'm gonna do a quick check on my current bloat situation and then I'll check in with you guys as soon as I wake up in the morning. I did get my rings off, which was nice because they were so stuck earlier and they just like slid off. So that's already a good sign. And then you can definitely see the puffiness has gone down a ton. Um, and that's just in the day. So hopefully when I wake up tomorrow, it'll be like even tighter and less puffy and no discomfort at all. It's Tuesday morning. I haven't even gone to the bathroom yet. Um, but I already feel so much tighter and less puffy. Like you can see my abs a little bit again in the front. Um, yeah, <laughs> I feel like night and day compared to yesterday and just like lighter, like everything just feels lighter. Um, but yeah, definitely way less puffy, just more strong core. So once I go to the bathroom, I'm sure it'll be even better, but waking up feeling real good. Okay, this is why I always say take photos because looking in the mirror, I was like, yeah, I feel like I look less bloated. I felt like a hundred times better waking up today. But looking at those photos, it's insane. Like, <laughs> I didn't realize I was as bloated as I was. It's just, it's crazy. So hopefully this helps you guys. If you're ever feeling super bloated, even adding in some of the things that I showed you will definitely make a difference. But if you follow this, it's kind of like my little like bloated protocol, it will help so, so much. And if you like this video, sweat the thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know if you're gonna try this next time you're bloated. And don't forget, good things come to those who sweat. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.